Hello, good afternoon. Uh, today I got uh, inspiration. Actually, I want to give inspiration to my one of my nail sister because she just contacted with me uh, about uh, she got inquiry to do nails for uh, gender reveal, baby gender reveal party, and uh, I just want to help her out. And truly, because uh, I think every salon can. Uh, can get one or two customer per year who have uh, this kind of inquiry I want to share with everyone because um, you have an easy way you just buy a sticker or something but maybe have a special customer who want uh, uh, have special uh, inquiry but you don't find so I sh show some uh, inspiration uh, to you guys of course it's hand painting too so anyway will be really really good so uh, it will be a little interactive i ask you to help me to make sure i understand well because i'm from europe and uh, we don't have any baby shower or uh, gr uh, baby uh, grander reveal uh, party so with my best knowledge is the baby shower is when someone um, waiting her baby uh, usually the friend the best friends or family members girls they do a party and they celebrating uh, soon uh, they will receive the new baby right and the baby gender reveal party is a little bit different because that is the event when the first in their life they will realize they will know which gender is their baby mostly mommy and daddy don't even know yet so someone good friend or family member uh, already know and they organizing the party and they want to surprise them and uh, of course surprise to everyone who is in the party and yes they bring a lot of baby gift <laughs> so it's two things baby shower and uh, the baby gender reveal for the first the baby gender reveal uh, of course uh, everyone have ideas something funny tricky more surprise more unique way so i want to share you guys if in my salon someone coming and someone planning to make uh, this kind of party i can immediately offering to them as a service how if they uh, come to my salon i will take care of okay but how you can do okay because usually they bake the cake and inside the cake they put uh, filled with something when they start uh, take out one piece it will be visible it's blue or pink right but everybody do that maybe your customer wants something more special of course she will pay for it and uh, what you can do my first idea what is uh, come out how what about if the mummy okay wearing the information without she know now how you can do that for example that nails is on her ring finger or whatever so just only one any other is just simple uh, uh, colors okay so only one and i tell you her baby will be boy okay how i can tell that because the glitter what i used encapsulated but make sure you cover it underneath with white okay so the glitter is glow in the dark so she don't know which is her grander even i can gender i can coating with a regular uh, to, uh, polish okay and on the event she just wipe it off with um, polish remover the white color okay so she will see the first time what i designed for her okay and she charge her nail this point is absolutely no color okay it's totally white mm -hmm. and when you don't see because uh, it's full five uh, 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 light around me and when uh, she charged 
after they turn off the light in the room no one know yet her gender the baby's gender and this is how will brighting that is the girl that is the boy so she he is a boy so that kind of service like surprising service you can offering to your customer and the plus don't forget it this kind of party is for fun and make unique and special uh, uh, memories okay this way she she wear two three day when you made it you hide it so she already know here is the secret here is the truth but she cannot watch just front of everyone and just simple she can use uh, any kind of UV source or she going out to the sun and running back to the room with the, <laughs> the friends or just use the lamp charge it and turn on off the light and will show the color of the gender what about that I think it's so cool it's something like nail uh, related and you can part of it and of course you can charge for it how you do if you do that service so the mummy so the 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 girl with the baby is coming to my salon i do the gel manicure whatever what she asking and only one finger i used um, because that glitter is come like that i tell you one is the boy one is the girl however it's white kind of unicornish really special here is you can see it's like really really special just perfect just as is i tell you <laughs> okay that is the glow in the dark uh, glitters okay so i i use that on one finger all right but because she put into the light i don't let her see so only that finger she can close her eyes or you can use the you know like you can hide it her eyes with something textile okay so that is so cool because she already knows oh my god it's happening so you apply uh, to the nail the glitters and you painting on what she asking for example like little dual ball which is in daytime you cannot tell it's boy or girl this is why symbolically i show is like pink and blue side okay so but i will coat it with a single uh, layer with uh, with hard gel okay if you want to coat it yeah you you want to coat it so one layer of the hard gel i will do right now no worry okay so hard gel just in case because i don't want when she wiping off the polish maybe she wiped too much okay but if the customer will understand you don't have to you just coating with uh, uh, the pure top shine okay and when it's ready she don't see yet okay she she don't cheating actually after when you don't use any more the uv lamp she can see this way because this way it's she don't know boy or girl okay and just simple coating with white regular polish right and nothing need uh, for the show just bring uh, with herself um, just you know the polish remover take off like one stroke or two stroke you know and charge it with the little lamp or running out to the sun and come back to the dark room and everybody will same time seeing it's purple uh, it's pink or uh, blue this is how it looks like just because i painting and i'm using five light you cannot see okay it's a girl it's a boy so that tip it's a boy all right so and the other party is the baby shower okay i did some super sweet really elegant or sophisticated which is not like it's really special and so soft i hope it's visible in on the camera i try to see the it's three-dimensional because i used uh, the embossing gel and i used shiny and the matte top too so i will do something like this too and of course 
the easiest way of baby boomer for uh, and the pink uh, color tone as inspiration because i i personally if i going to the baby shower party i don't want on every finger big chunky uh, things okay yes the foot fit this print is just so cool and it's like i already want a kissing because it's just super cute <laughs> one things that you have to make sure have to be realistic because if just simple you don't take attention i see for example uh with somebody painted with six uh, nails uh six fingers right <laughs> now that is a big mistake <laughs> so please counting before and don't forget it the first is longer and wider and the last one is have to be more back and more closer to the to the palm part all right <clears throat> so let's do something mm -hmm. oh and for inspiration those are uh, uh, gender reveal uh, one so sh uh, he is bo uh, will be boy and you see you don't see it. you don't see it all right but with um, if you charge with light sunlight or uv light will indicate it blue and this is girl that is just example for sporty uh, person that is for more cute and soft uh, person all right and that is something schwincy fancy okay i just put back to here and i did recommend because she asked me what is the best color it's really pr uh, depending on the person for me one thing is the rule uh how the baby shower and this kind of, of with any kind of nail art related with baby you have to understand no harsh color have to be powdery as possible for me the 16 if i do to myself i'm pretty sure i will be using because i'm more uh, i like more uh, soft that one okay but that is not enough pink so if you want more pink that is the 17 of the pure pure 17 especially is hypoallergenic if you do for her who already pregnant have a baby i strongly recommend you use anyway the pure line all right and the best blue is the 14 which is like its full coverage is really uh, a rich color but same time is not like not a summary just a blue is like like more powdery i do recommend and the plus you can blending them because uh, that one i used you remember the the 032 the moonstone from the gemstone collection okay i just uh, blended with uh, that color so let's see how you do that okay as first that is my first to do that i tell you because uh, we doesn't have we doesn't have any kind of this uh, kind of event if someone know the gender just tell immediately through the phone to everyone and that's it <laughs> but it's so cool i tell ya it's so cool so i hope one day someone will inviting uh, mm, to celebrating uh, the baby shower or the gender reveal uh, event because i will really enjoy <laughs> so i just apply uh to around the uh, the cuticle area and little the side uh, way you are welcome angela <laughs> usually um, my nail sisters who know me they contact me help me out of that show me that la 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 but if i find something is really valuable to everyone because truly here in the united states everyone can get inquiry for that right uh, by this reason i want to share with everyone especially this is really play day with you guys because i just painted right now i speak with her one or two hours earlier and just immediately painted some version so we just playing together i pull it pull it 
pull it and my brush is around all right because i want less 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 of the pink where is the cuticle area make sense and use the picasso white and uh, that is a good combo i tell you and the mermaid dust for your daughter when just got married it's a really good a really good combo because the mermaid is just so it's not a glitter it's so special delicate but bright and enough so it's like i think you have a good taste honey because that is something like if she want bling but not too much because the the wedding ceremony is the other things everybody want uh, to be make sure you don't overpowering her her natural beauty and the plus the flower and the plus the clothes and the plus wah, da, 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 da. so make sure you don't overpowering it all so i already blended down if you want pull it more or just a little little line like that is depending if i want a more i pull it more down right this time this couple uh, uh, time when i do that i every time stop in the end because I like more whitish and less pinkish. I'm just rolling back. I put into the lamp just right now. Oh, in the lamp I already have two. You see, I'm ready to painting a lot of things because uh, the any kind of mm, baby shower have lot of kind of design and I want to show different kind of design okay I'm using right now the pure 17 for the baby shower it's a girl color because it's, it's super intensive it's not transparent however it's powdery so it's not like you know the teenager pink or you know what I mean the older lady who forgot it being teenager so using <laughs> extreme extreme pink have to be powdery okay because it's baby baby okay so i use the 17 sorry just because someone asking i see already the question and i try to answer everything so i'm so excited i hope you guys feel that because i never painted that in europe we didn't do that we doesn't have this kind of event so by this reason customer never required to any kind of coolish stuff and i will show that too it's super easy and super cool it's like really <clears throat> so just right now i'm painting and i'm using the 32 which is the moonstone uh, a really thin layer i just almost doing like wet make sure sidewall everywhere is wet it mean doesn't cured the gel yet and uh, doesn't dry because i want sliding on the surface but the gel can running to the part where it is wet okay if i stop here no matter ma what i cannot pull it into the back because every time will be bumpy here so first is wet thin layer don't even cover the pink right it's so much fun thank you An angela to to asking that because i feel like i'm a little bit my whole life is missed that event and uh, i can be a uh, little bit even if not real i feel it's real okay so i add uh, more quantity and i pull it pull it pull it gentle Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it on the pink too. And at the end, already nothing on my brush. Okay, because all is left behind here. And a little bit, I add into the center. And gentle. It's not a big quantity. I don't know in the camera how it looks like it's right now it's one normal uh, uh, generous layer of the gel polish okay and right now i calling now which brush which brush i'm using honey 
of course the perfect line <laughs> I'm use all the time so and I touch it I touch it like perpendicular no uh, it's like vert vertical or horizontal okay just maybe in the camera you don't see I just touch it I don't press down the brush I just touch the gel surface and I slowly invite the jellies come with me please come with me let uh, give the time to the gel to follow the brush okay that is not a rushy things if you start rushing honey I tell ya you have to work it more because you have to push back and la 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 and at the end I just little bit touch 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 make sure everywhere is coming uh, the whitish color that is a see-through whitish bluish color is not a simple white very important because the semi sheer or sheer white is turned to yellow with uh, multiple colors okay so that every time will keep the beautiful clean white milky color here we are and if you see no bumpy bumpy jumpy it's just easy i showed that because um, multiple um, person snail sister asked already how you do this kind of baby boomerang and uh, that is a perfect time because I personally, if I got uh, the baby shower version, oh, too much tips, so I can playing, I'm sure I will not wearing all finger, all nail, any kind of design, because to me it's just too much. So that one is make white, but colorful and tamed like baby shower. So that is a good uh, version. And of course you can painting on that one too. It's just I tell you, uh, it's a good uh, uh, way to add color, but not too much color. Thank you so much. You love my polishes. Yes, truly all gel polishes is made by love with love by me. And every color is like super rich and work well. And someone mentioned how maybe I should do color swatching because sometimes I try to do the best. I tell you, we took the picture from the most of the original color, right? And used on the website. However, if you open it on your cell phone or same time you open it on your computer or iPad, every device will show different colors so by this reason maybe i will do quick videos and just start from the whole color it and let it color uh, and uh, like for example red day so i will show all kind of red and describe which kind how you use what i recommend so how you like that idea till that i will using the pure top shine on that <coughs> because uh, because a color uh, picking is not easy uh, every time when someone looking for a special color and we have uh, make sure i understand clearly i will ask back what you mean exactly tail color or tiffany color or whatever and i do quick video to show her how is the real color but again the cell phone is doesn't show give justice but i try to supporting you guys with uh, with personal help but anyway i think i will do just uh, like a uh, 10 minutes you know i just applying uh, blue and i will show which kind of blue which kind of blue this blue is good with that but this uh, blue is better with others so like little tutorial and you can see the real colors so I put into the lamp to cure it I don't know what I will do you guys want uh, the little ball do you want me to painting the little ball or the uh, little uh, feet print this is why I, yes <laughs> because it's a lot of Joanne's user in worldwide I'm not able to help everybody individually 
So this is why I start uh, working to everyone to support thing. Both? <laughs> okay, I just see the time. So I have to be a little bit quickly. So that will be a fit footprint. And this will be the gender reveal. I will do the, mm, the little ball. I just do different way, okay? So what I will calling, I buff back the surface because I need the matte surface just quickly and don't forget it when you're using the glow in the dark colors and glitters and powders all right uh, make sure you use the top coat which is not really loaded with uh, uh, UV protector because the UV protector is uh, unfortunately will not let charge the glow in the dark so what I do recommend use the pure top shine to that and quickly i will be using right now the picasso white oh hello babe mm -mm. and yeah they're so cute of course you don't have to painting all that is just inspiration and i will show different technique how you do three-dimensional bow and how you do raised up three-dimensional mm, footprint mm -mm, that one so i will do right now don't forget it that is the picasso so i'm using a really 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 thin layer and I just do a curving like this because I do different. And I do the opposite like here to make nice even curved uh, line, long line used uh, the perfect line and feeling between fill it out between you can use the uh, for example the artist i hope i washed before if not let make and just quickly mm -hmm, i painting too white Okay, make sure it's super flat, is not thick, because just I need hiding the glittery part. So right now, the gender will show up on the uh, nail bed area and at the end. Mm -hmm. I just hide it the glitter the glow in the dark glitters because we don't need please understand if you see through the camera looks like it's a thick layer i tell you it's microscopic thin layer it's really really important it's a i'm using the picasso that is not a casual or gel it's like color booster I just describe because I see and I speak with some nail sister and and they show the result and I realize it's like oh my god everybody think I'm using a lot no I'm using almost nothing mm -hmm. so I put it into the lamp that will be just the background okay Yeah, it's so pigmented, uh, the Picasso's. So, and for the footprint, I'm using the, or the embossing romantic rose, which is, you remember, it's a gel. I will show when I'm mixing, it's fluidy. However, 
if I layering down, it's keep the shape. You see? And if I keep it one hour, that will be the shape. Okay? And already, voila, beautiful baby pink. Okay, we call that is the romantic rose. All right, I clean my, right, but actually we have a blue too. So, <clears throat> I will doing, uh, mm -hmm. you know what? Yes, I just wipe right now the white, but I do it back. That is like um, the little textile, the little soft material, like old fashioned uh, pampers. Part of it is just make more, you know, something more special, more different. I did with white. <coughs> because I will using only the gel polish as a background. Okay, let's cure it. <coughs> Sorry, guys, it's started being cold here in California. Daytime is like sweating. Honey is flip flop and uh, sunglass. It's really hot, but nighttime is cold. And uh, I think I need honey and milk you know what I mean or something so I come back all right right now I will painting the little ball okay that will be the first I show that because not just uh, for baby shower uh, or baby gender reveal that ball is three-dimensional like mean have a deepness is don't raise up it's mean for shadow and light uh, basic version but i will show how you do and you will see i'm using for painting only gel polish what i'm doing i used matte on for sure i can do zoom on a little bit i can try However, the biggest problem if I zoom in, mostly, most of the time I going out from the, the focus. So please let me know if you don't see me, because I just painting, talking and you don't see nothing. Okay, so here we are. I coated with matte top coat. Okay. A quick cure, doesn't have to be full cure. Mm -hmm. okay she is sitting here because I will do the you know what I do the footprint first because that is quick so cute pink or I do blue do do I should I blue pink pink I'm a girly mom okay my all baby uh, Maltese is girls, so <laughs> uh, I used right now the romantic rose. Okay, so the shape first, I'm using the fine lace, it's better for this time. I know, I know, mostly I'm using the fine lace to uh, the perfect line, but this time it's just better if I'm using because it's teeny tiny okay let's do just quickly I have to wash out my little brush because I was bad girl and I painted something and I don't wash it yeah 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 so I'm just washing Here we are. So, when you do first is the palm part. 
you will recognize when I painting okay is like a touch down and pull it like a C okay this is how we start and I bring a little bit down because I need bigger just because I want you guys see better okay and somewhere here I start to pull it down and the next sorry that is my little Camilla my baby I think she need more attention and I start here like a phone <laughs> the old style phone okay so I pull it pull it pull it to make connect you see like a question mark okay do not confuse I will feel it I just want to help if you do this step you will get the beautiful realistic footprint right so as you see here is more higher you see it's more higher that point and this point and when I pull it is more thinner and gentle without any product I just pull it 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 around to fill the center because I don't need thick don't forget it she is a baby girl okay it's not like a big uh, old lady <laughs> old lady footprint you know who doesn't get pedicure a long time it's a baby girl so have to be just super gentle filled with not too much material because this way when you press down the in the sand in on the beach the foot your feet it's three-dimensional the print too okay somewhere is flat but colored because indicated that is the f uh, print but somewhere is deeper mm -hmm. and I add extra to here if you feel you don't uh, want to pull it too much material just turn around the, on the palette the brush so the br uh, brush will release the excess of the gel okay and I pull it to make like this here is more higher at and at the end between is colored but it's flat it's really important okay okie dokie I think I bring a little bit here more that is a big baby okay strong woman will be no I'm using the rom uh, romantic rose of the embossing you see Picasso you cannot do that gel polish you cannot do that only the embossing gel can do that because we're curing through beautifully okay and the little little uh, toenail and little little fingers don't forget it one is uh, longer and bigger and the position is important too oh almost I touched as you see as you see one is bigger and start a little bit like not uh, not straight a little bit this direction because when you step down the toenail uh, the fingers is open right from the palm So a little bit I started kind of here you see it's outside looks like outside and that is a little bit longer I just make curving here more I just feel like not really curvy uh, here we are But anyway, the good uh, doing with the embossing gel, every time and I retouch is create more uh, dimensional uh, look and keep it. Okay, so here is the uh, big finger. I don't know that, you know, the finger on your toenail, on the feet. And other is just 
almost teeny tiny dot. First, you can add just exactly that one, two, which is like one, two, three, four, and the five is a little bit down, down and closer to the the feet. Okay. And right now I add more. Why I did that? Because make sure you did five and not six and not four. I loved because I see someone did just like, you know, <laughs> it's six. Uh, finger. Which is okay. I don't judge, but it's uh, usually, you know, the mommy doesn't <laughs> prep for this for sure. Because if my baby coming with uh, uh, have a six, I will be proud, no matter what, that is my baby. But anyway, she wants to see uh, the normal, regular feet print. Okay, here we are. You see, I think I will add a little bit more closer. Mm -hmm. I just wipe it off, the last one and add more tinier and more closer like here aha uh -huh. right and right now i see the uh, the the finger print and the palm part it's harmonically balanced or need to be add the fingers i don't touch anymore so the this part i can add bigger for example, I want a little bit longer right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And a little bit wider this part. So I just add this part. Oh, So cute. I wanna kissing little. The babies have so pretty uh, feet. I every time I, I get the chance to to see close baby I immediately give me her, give me her feet and it's just so sweet I want to kissing maybe just me and maybe weird don't judge me okay honey don't judge me you know me I love animals babies children's I'm so protective this is why the Joanne's brand never will using or buying product which is on the from the facility but working with children's it's just big no by me no matter what so here we are i hope it's visible it's just super cute cutie cutie she's girl i put it into the lamp make sure he, she got the full cure okay that means if you have a strong, good lamp, uh, uh, do a source that 60 seconds, okay? If you have single source, like UV only, that is, I don't recommend, <laughs> generally for any kind of brand, any kind of polish, or if you have single source, like UV, you have to use two minutes, right? So we come back for this don't forget it i will do the little uh, detail on that but no no worry it and i promised i will painting with uh, with simple the gel polish yes you are able to painting with gel polish from the joans any other brand uh 98% no my answer okay because it's not pigmented enough don't self leveling enough that mean uh, you cannot do that. <coughs> I will do the academy soon. I will launching out really, really soon. And some European uh, really good educators, they will teaching on to, and they painting amazing things because they they just working like that. They have a time and they are super talented. They painting only with my gel polishes, only with Joanne's gel polishes. So you will surprise how what why important the good quality gel polish <clears throat> so let's do the ball ball right now uh you know what you know what i do only one color or two color no let me know two dual or simple 
just one color. Someone? Anyone? I think I will do both. Okay. It doesn't matter actually. Just I don't want you to get confused. Because I'm teaching right now how you do the nice ball. But uh, dual color is doesn't matter. It's same. It's just I don't do same time. All right. So first I will be using. Uh, right now I do the opposite. So first I will be using the blue. And what I need like a little bit like a biscuit or is like I painting and you can describe it, honey I don't know it's just for me like a the not perfectly finished biscuit <laughs> it's just a or like kind of like butterfly but don't do it's just like wavy okay don't do like separate them and I pulling into one point like this and I pulling into one point so I will don't move and just keep it so you can memorize or you can see the shape or you can help me describe so that part is like a like kind of hard but don't do not make really really uh, edge in the center Hmm. All right, and then I do the other part. I just wipe it off on the the palette and pick up the pink, and I do same. Or first, I try to do similar as I did before. So that I mean, look, it's like I do wavy things. right and I just pull it pull it pull it pull it into one point mm -hmm. and right now I check and I make bigger if it's required to make bigger so make even doesn't have to be hundred percent even okay but uh, approximately okay because it's too big different that means someone who made this ball is messed up and we don't want to do that so approximately the wave and the shape is not perfect not same that's absolutely okay just have to be harmonically balanced mean is same uh, size and looks like uh, you know what I mean it's if one is too big is unreal is is cannot be it's just no so make sure you make bigger the other side too and they come in close as I can and I just touch them they kiss each other all right and right now I just make mm -hmm, yes I do different so I just make right now a flat out is like straight out till the side wall you see looks like you think is doesn't mean uh, why I made the the airy or biscuit shape but sometimes I don't do this way so you need to understand it's a uh, it's uh, like a biscuit shape and they do the other side too because that will be the rope underneath or the you know what I mean mm-hmm so this is the base I don't move right now that so you can see the shape just simple like that and go into the lamp I try to be microscopic bigger so make sure you you see what I'm doing and right now because that you remember is like a little textile uh, material that they used before the pamper come out you know it's not the disposable what you have to wash so that kind of material is really good match with anything no matter which kind of design you do on the top uh, that behind is just make more complex right however 
I need to use uh, a little bit of the chocolate you remember the Picasso chocolate and when I tell honey it's a little bit that I mean it's a little bit right that mean this quantity and this quantity already too much and I mixing with the pink oh too much yeah it's like almost nothing I just need wiping off my gloves not because it's ugly because if you don't do immediately you will mess up everything believe me okay and I add a little bit uh, the, mat, uh, the regular top shine to make less uh, uh, concentrated because right now I mixed with the pink you remember and the chocolate to make shadow effect yeah chocolate I'm happy you like chocolate because most of the people doesn't like brown honey brown is neat to everything and uh, that material is super super pigmented so you can do a lot of things with that even stamping with that all right so i'm oh yeah and right now i need again the fine lace because i will do little tiny i just don't want only brown so i'm using a little bit of the the original pink color Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because i don't want to have overpowering the pampers so and when I, you're drawing straight line especially you have to stra do straight and stop on the length same everywhere okay so sounds easy no that is more difficult than do the long one okay so what you can do fix your finger and the brush have to be perpendicular every time when you start pulling that mean i hope i'm in the camera because i'm on two uh, big zoom one two and here even if you don't see I just put underneath because it looks like continue uh, the design and again and again and even here is not too much, just finished like a dot. Okay. And I keep perpendicular, pull it, pull it, pull it. And you see, it's not overpowering, it's not too dark. It's really important because it's a cute, sweet pink design. I just add more a little bit. Here we are, Me a little bit more because I will use the matte top coat and the matte top coat with pull it the color less, 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 right? So I want it visible a little bit. Mm -hmm. Here we are. <coughs> I put into the lamp so the the footprint is almost ready I just will use the matte top coat on the textile part okay <coughs> the ball right now I will using same because I need uh, shadowing I use the uh, 
I will using same because I don't use never use black for shadow that is the biggest mistake if someone teach you that you have to question mark the knowledge of her or him okay shadow is brown or sepia is black and brown that please please don't use black because we'll be just dirt dirty we using uh, uh, as nail artist only the brown which is the chocolate okay I'm mixing because I lightening because it's super cute and soft design and the plus I wiping off right now because it's too much on the brush okay because I feel using super teeny tiny miniature quantity and I will do start shadowing from here you see how powerful and from here and from here and from here why I'm doing that because it's too much on my brush so I loading down before I start pull it you see right now it's not too much so I start pull it this is how I created quickly the three-dimensional effect simple just using and drawing you see De -de -de -de. <laughs> it's just that okay and right now even if no uh, the biscuit or doesn't have this uh, wavy or cloudy shape you can imagine have somewhere the cloudy shade shape so I just add a line into because everything when is behind is have to be darkening you have to darkening the color I'm in the camera all right please let me know because uh, I'm did zoom on right now and uh, that is not really I'm cannot behave I sometimes I just you know I'm moving left and right and and after the half of the uh, the work what I'm doing is not on the camera so wow. make sure you let me know immediately if I'm out of the camera please so I just blending 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 because I don't want to see the direct line where I uh, did the shadow the shadow is not a line shadow is have to be blended beautifully so I just simple pull it pull it you cannot imagine how small quantity I'm use I cannot even describe honey it's I'm using nothing I use the quantity like if you see a fly and the fly feet and on the feet of the fly have a toenail and the painting on the toenail on the French part this quantity <laughs> is nothing I cannot describe nothing on my brush is like joke quantity but because it's super pigmented by this reason anyway will painting even if no uh, no material on and you don't see with your naked eye have any gel on but honey this kind of small details and every nail art is small detail we don't have like six of chapel you know what I mean <laughs> we have a tiny canvas so we using just this quantity it's just gentle and just touch 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 and pull it pull it blending out all right I add a little bit here because I need more deepness just like this and I create right now the wavy things right and I wash out make the same I don't need too much and I pull it pull it pull it don't use too much because I want to see the blue this part right I don't want to see all is like brown and here too it's just I touch 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 I pull it gentle and you see it's curved shape it's not a flat oh I'm not in the camera it's curved shape I'm in the camera yeah you see really important 
because that will give the ball shape. Okie dokie. And right now I just do tuck 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 here at the center. At the center this way too. It looks like right now dirty everywhere, right? <laughs> but no worry because that is just a shadowing and we're coming the highlighting and the highlighting will show up exactly where is the ball. I keep it here a little bit so you can see or memorized. Thank you so much. You love when I painting. I tell you, I really, really love painting no matter what. Okay, which kind of design or is that just make me happy, relax, especially I do on the, in my YouTube channel, you know, the relaxing video. Mostly if I can, I'm listening any kind of relaxing video and I just flying, really. I feel unstoppable and got inspiration and uh, sometimes 2 a.m. and I still painting, right? Because I just cannot. I explaining and teach so well. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I try and uh, I really appreciate uh, when you guys, uh, I feel uh, you guys want to learn and uh, you reproducing and try to do and share with me. That is super amazing. And one thing's super amazing, how I see a lot of uh, Nia sisters started sharing with the groups because uh, I teaching you, but I want to teaching everyone. And I really appreciate that if you sharing uh, my YouTube channel, because uh, because I want I wish everyone got enough uh, knowledge and help, because sometimes we just we just had no chance, no teacher who teach us, and everybody have to catch up and got inspiration. Sorry, I did right now to wipe it off, uh, no, uh, to take out the matte top coat. Because you remember, I don't want shiny, and I have to cover the the Picasso gel, right? So I just fill it, and the plus add uh, extra dimension to to the glow. It's you can find under the chunky glitters at joans.com and glow in the dark, and one is the uh, number three, and one is the number four if you want uh, the blue and the pink one. But don't forget it. I tell you, just as is, is like super dimensional and super cool. And glow in the dark. It doesn't strongly glow like a glow in the dark powder because it's glitter, but how cool, it's white. And I just uh, when charged uh, with sun or UV light, and you go to the dark room, will glowing too same time. I think it's really cool. Of course, you have to encapsulate it uh, because it's chunky, but it's really flat chunky. It's not the, you know, the cheap chunky. So it's not bad at all. So I just coating with the matte top, and actually it's add into an uh, extra. Mm, pop up dimension. So let's go into the lamp and my. I hope I turn on the camera. So I will continue to contouring. One more thing. I know you have. I know maybe all of you guys already have. But if you have any other brush, then the fine list or the perfect line. I tell ya, don't even try to contouring with any other, because that is the thickness that you, you need. Look at how super soft and miniature detail. And the plus, I have to contouring. Even the brush belly is thicker than the contour, so I will use just a needle end. And that brush is handmade brush, honey. As n that is not, they don't order as a set. You know what I mean? It's special. So please 
save your brush clean wipe it uh, never use acetone never ever on any brush okay alcohol if it's necessary because if you have a good brush you can painting everything and I promise everything so again I calling the Picasso white of course mm. Guys, too much things on my table, and every time I'm looking for something. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just add a little bit to here. Really tiny, tiny things. Okay. Rolling into, rolling, rolling. And that is what I mean I loaded. Mm. I need something dark, whatever. I hope you see. Mm -hmm. You see? Nothing on. Because the gel is inside the little thin hair. No ball, no excess, no thickness. Okay? And I do nicely highlighting, gentle. Look at that. Look at that. So if you try any other brush, which is not thin like this, of course you cannot. You need a beautiful uh, thin uh, uh, brush and I know you already have I just begging you to save it love it and never never use for like you know something like not art one or artist one <coughs> and the other part Mm-hmm. And the other part. And you see you already see the ball. You already see the shape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, you don't have a chance to see that kind of line work. It's super detailed, super thin. You see on the big camera right now, but that is, ah, I want to show something, but uh, recognizable. So check the bottle and you see the line, just the contour line It's super, super thin. And you are able with the perfect line and of course the Picasso brushes. You are able to do that. All right. And one more thing I already uh, want to add. You know what? No, I add a little Swarovski on the center. Or, you know what? No. Uh, no. I just add right now the little center line because I'm hand painting right now I don't want to add extra like a Swarovski because of Dua I have to use hmm? yes this is why I told you uh, this is why I don't like the super uh, sharp uh, zooming because uh, I try to go every time back and uh, I I'm I can I I'm not behave well okay don't judge me <laughs> even if you for uh, you are tired I please promise me you never let on the table like this okay if you are not able to 
to wash it because you are tired minimum use the cup that is a professional is not a brush what you can buying anywhere okay well actually nowhere just made to us okay so if you have one baby just save it you don't have to buy ever again okay maybe if your customer steal from your table you have to buy the new one but if you have to protecting so she's back and of course I just two line because I add right now the center line just like this uh, super quick and I add the top on do you guys have any question about that and actually no matter what you painting again I planned maybe I do this one this one that one this one this one <laughs> no matter what or I painting with gel polish this is how I got the little tiny ball for example or anything else or I using the three-dimensional one which is the embossing gel we have multiple colors like romantic uh, rose romantic blue romantic purple those are all light colors have a beautiful of course black uh, gold silver and all is keep the shape right that is uh, why I'm using and even this thickness is look it's cured through beautifully no problem with that and just quickly don't forget it use the pure top shine and super thin because you don't want the the glow part got uh, blocked from UV because too much beauty, uh, UV protector on the top super thin and I just look look that glitter that is just so good actually just as is too even if you don't use uh, the glowing part it's just so pretty okay gentle I coated and here is the basic bowl and for in inspiration for baby shower and uh, for uh, for gender reveal okay, I have other tip here we are here is the pinky one those are the footprint and here is the balls all right so that was the today inspiration uh, and of course technique too and you got uh, uh, more information about what is the difference between embossing why when I'm using embossing gel when I'm using Picasso gel and when I'm using gel polish okay so I hope it's help have a wonderful day to everyone don't forget it love each other ciao guys